your studies of the physics of diving and the mathematics pertaining to diving, you have learned the pressures that are exerted by a column of water on the human body. The reason why we are able to send the human being into deep water with comparative comfort is due to the fact that about seven-tenths of the body as a whole is composed of a liquid. The sea exerts pressure on the body due to the flexibility of this diving dress with the exceptions of the parts contained in the metal helmet and breastplate. That, part must be that pressure must be exerted in order to keep the body in an equilibrium and is exerted by the air pressure which the diver has control of through his control valve. One of the first things that is necessary for the divers to learn is the fine art of the balancing of those pressures because the pressure in your lungs is the pressure that's in the helmet at this exhaust valve. While the pressure over the lungs exerted by the sea is the pressure at that point. Enough. In your studies of the mathematics and physics of diving, you have learned about the pressures of seawater and the natural laws of gases. The reason that we are able to send a human being into deep water for comparative safety is because the seven-tenths of the human body as a whole is composed of a liquid. The pressure of the sea is transmitted to the body by reason of the diving dress being flexible for all parts except that which is contained within the metal helmet and breastplate. That pressure must be exerted in order to keep the body in an equilibrium of pressure and is exerted by the air which is supplied through your control valve, of which you have the control of, by the air which is supplied for the breathing purposes. As the pressure in the lungs is the air pressure at the exhaust valve, and the pressure over the lungs is the seat pressure at that point of the breastplate, it is necessary for the diver to learn how to balance that pressure so as to keep his body in an equilibrium, at the same time being able to breathe comfortably and with freedom at all times. No? Stop ready. All right, well, let's go. All right, man. I'm going to get those places to stay there. No. Be careful putting that down. You pull on my dress. Come on, get your nose on the way. Down there, you can't blow up. That's my lady. That's my lady. That was pretty belt on. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah, get all those laces and lace those laced legs up tight because it, it, it gives you a balance down there. All right, put on the helmet. Tuck your head. All right, I'll be careful with his teeth there. Uh, don't forget to uh, put in your jacks, Mark. Put your jacks in. Make good connection on those helmets, uh, telephone. Y'all ready to go down? Telephone, all right. All right, come in, sir. Be careful with his teeth, man. Look up your spit cock there when you put them in. Uh, make sure your four holes and has got a good connection there. When you put that back on him, I open up those turns a little bit. Yeah, give him about three turns on the <laughs> dark valve. See how it's going. Make sure how's the telephone? Yeah. All together. Be close together, fellas. Keep up.
Pull those laces up tight because you've got a lot of mud down. I love you, Governor. The worst part of this is getting dressed and kind of lightweight. Thank <laughs> you. 